Welcome friends to another unboxing video. I have made a purchase at the new to me shop Timu and I believe that these things all come directly from China. Well, it's not at all environmental friendly, but I had watched an unboxing video on YouTube and I thought I would see what the big deal is about. The prices are very affordable. I am living in Germany and the delivery only took less than a week uh, from me making the order and this all arriving. And yeah, I thought we would go through everything one by one and it's a lot as you can see so I will have a little bit of a problem finding space but uh, let's just start at the top of the pile so I will start with, with this one that's another woven carpet I've already got two of these I am paid I think I paid seven euros for this in Germany before and this one cost me less than three euros so let's open that because i will use it right away where's the opening so there you go it's woven fabric and it's a lovely carpet in the size 1 to 12. we will open this box here I believe I've got two of these boxes, so I think there are beds inside. And I can't remember if, we, if, if these were wooden or plastic beds. I hope they are wooden. Sometimes it's difficult to tell. It's a very nice bed, including pillow and mattress. And I believe this is actually wood. I really like like this look. So we've got one of these. Yes. And the second one. Same style, same bed. So that's that. The uh, things got squashed a little. So let's hope that this made in China little Christmas tree will still be okay. Because I am preparing for Christmas time. My intention is to prepare the dollhouse for Christmas. For all seasons actually. So there you go. It doesn't have any light bulbs. I thought it would have. Let's see, or am I missing something? It's an LED light and I can pull this protective plastic out. Yeah, I have to. Uh, tricky. Maybe if I open this first. There we go. Pull this out. There are three batteries inside. And I close it again. And then I can switch it on, I hope. Let's hope it works. Yes. Ooh, and it even has a couple of lights in the middle. I still have to make a tree skirt of some kind. But I think this works for Christmas. Yeah. So that's good. So far I'm happy. Some cushions or pillows for the bed, obviously. Quite nice. There you go. Three cushions. Are these sewn or glued? I think they're sewn. Three cushions for the bed. 
next there's a reefer door merry christmas let's open that one that's very cute a little bell this will go nicely on the door probably with some tacky glue i mean not tacky glue what's this called here putter fix i highly recommend this stuff ah yes this is not for the victorian edwardian dollhouse but this is for my mouse mansion my mouse house this is definitely plastic <laughs> it's a toaster with two slices of plastic toast does it fit in there one would hope it does but that one does that one not so much um, yeah, there. Yeah. So, a toaster with toast. I think this is resin. The top is plastic. And this could be soap. Or maybe some perfume. It looks nice. Ah, a glass vase with flowers. And it says, Good luck. The rest is too small, I can't read it. And inside is resin or glue or something so that the flowers stay in this nice bottle or vase really lovely this is a set for tea little cups this is porcelain or china china from china there little cup <laughs> and little plates a sugar bowl, a milk bowl, and a teapot. These are ice cubes made of plastic. And I can fill them in a bowl and put in some, what's it called? Champagne bottle. And it looks like An ice bucket with champagne. I will keep this in here because I don't want to have it all lying around here. <laughs> now this one, oh, I've got two of these at least. Um, this is actually flooring. Bamboo made, made of bamboo, which you can then make a tiled floor of with and I've got two of those as I said a little knitted hat and a little scarf I will put this on one of the dolls around Christmas for a Christmas display these are just little tins. For sweets and cookies. I don't think that there's anything inside. See, they're empty. I could put something in there. You could use these as little boxes for smaller things. This is a little milkshake. 
complete with cherry on top. That's pretty. That's a plant. There are more plants here. So far, I like it. What I'm unpacking. All tiny plants. Some are with flowers. Also like that these are different plants. This one has yellow flowers, then there's one which has no flowers, one has violet flowers, this one has, looks more like grass, obviously all plastic. This one here is so rather squashed. Oh dear, I think this got mangled by the dog. <laughs> Maybe I can can squeeze it a little in shape. Don't know what's inside here, but yeah, it still works as presents. There. I might need glue for this, probably. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bookshelf. There's the bottom part, there's the top part, and there are the sides. And you can put, well, somehow you put this together. And um, then you can put books in here, but I have to look it up again. That's an empty basket, I would say. I can make my own plant with this. This was wrapped very well. Oh, this is porcelain, I would say. And it's a definitely porcelain. It's a little cake, um, cake plate. You can put a cake on top. Very nice. This is a little statue. Again, probably two euros, if that. It's a little statue of a lady, rather clampily <laughs> dressed. A stack or a pile of newspapers. News, Merry Christmas. So this I will be able to put out when it's Christmas time. The question is, is there, are they all the same? I think they better keep are kept together like this. This is something I partly already own. It's a set for the door. It's a lock, a letterbox, a door knocker and a tiny little key for, for the door. But not real glass. This is a mixed collection of glasses, like this one, this little glass here. These are all plastic glass, made of plastic. But they look real enough. This is like a bowl, a mug, modern, Latte Macchiato mug, a bigger mug, I like that one, and I nearly lost the stopper. This is plastic, but it's a liquor or a liqueur bottle with a stopper, I believe I should rather better put the stopper in with some glue and two tiny tiny glasses already filled with the liquor really tiny no <laughs> yeah this is again something for the mouse mansion there is a little tiny mouse in there 
And I hope that this rescue ring, a uh, rubber ducky rescue ring, will fit around the mouse. <laughs> if not, I will use it as decoration. Definitely not for my Edwardian dollhouse, but for the mouse house. Brett's. They are too orange for my liking. And the back side is definitely not real. But you might get away with it if you are putting it somewhere where it's not a centerpiece, but more in the background. So you take the bag, you put the bread inside. Yeah, that might work. Kind of. Ah, now this is the champagne I was talking about. Now that's definitely looking nice. Realistic, let me say it like this. This is not glass, this is resin, I would say. Oh, that's kind of disappointing as well. This looked far more realistic on the website. It's supposed to be a, to be a beer mug, a mug filled with beer, but the foam is almost non-existent and maybe I will have to add a little bit of, um, cotton on top so that it looks like a beer. Two glasses with milk and a mug filled with milk. Uh, again, I think that this will be for the mouse house. Look at that. There's a little thing at the bottom which I have to cut off because like this the mug isn't really standing properly. Yeah. Looks like I've ordered this twice or something similar to the liquor. The glass is looking more or less the same. Maybe the content is a little bit darker. And apart from the two glasses we have a little decanter again. Um, this time the stopper won't come off. This is just decoration. Compared to this one where I will probably one day lose <laughs> the stopper. Yeah, also the size is different. This, however, is not alcohol. This is a lemon and lime kind of jack lemonade let's call it lemonade but there's a little bit of red in there and i don't know what this is supposed to be i think this is a mistake or maybe it's just a fruit punch yeah so a jack with some kind of lemonade no fail um I think we've lost an egg. Yeah. This is supposed to be an armchair. And since they stuffed it so hard in this parcel, this one is wobbly, almost broken off, and this is definitely broken off. So I will have to repair this armchair. This was supposed to be for the mice. Yeah. Not so great. <laughs> you can actually all of the legs are almost coming off. I have to find a different solution for this. This is more or less rubbish. Now this, this I was really looking forward to. No, definitely not magnetic. And the figures are also not exactly flat underneath. Yeah. Yes. Just like this one. More pots, but a different type of pot. 
more like vases. This is plastic as well, a little vase. These are all little pumpkins and they have feet. Why do they have feet? Oh, this is a, this is like a carriage, a pumpkin carriage, like Cinderella. And here we have a little kitty pumpkin, rawr, or a vampire pumpkin, maybe, or a devil. I don't know. This is a little pumpkin house. And then we've got a little fire pumpkin, a flame, maybe, with a face. Strange. Then we've got an evil pumpkin with arms and legs. And we've got a scared pumpkin, again with arms and legs. And we've got two stacked little pumpkins on top of each other. So yeah, I mean, these are obviously Asian. They remind me of little kitty. So I would have preferred, preferred a more natural look. But hey, yeah, this was to be expected. Overall, I would say that this was something I only do once. I won't do it again because the amount of plastic is absolutely shameful. And um, yeah, some of the pieces are a real bummer, like this one here. I mean, I can't do, I really can't do anything with this. Some things are better than the others. The bread doesn't look realistic at all, but I mean, it's obviously a dollhouse, so you might get away with it. Some of these tins would work. These are butter cookies and celebrations we've got here. What we don't have is um, this is Oreo and then there is some Asian writing underneath So and panda bears. So this I mean, unless my mice would would have been in China or Japan or Korea and would have brought a tin of Oreos with them. Otherwise, you ask yourself, what's that? One of some of my favorite things of the whole lot. It's these champagne bottles. I really like the look of those. It's actually this plant here. This is um, natural fiber, and even though the, the plant is plastic, I think this looks really nice. Um, yeah, I like the newspaper pile, even though this can, you can easily recreate something like this yourself. I do like these decanters here. And the chess board is nice as well. I still have to assemble this bookshelf, so I can't say much about this. The glasses, well, I might not need them. Maybe they look nicer if I paint them from the inside so that it looks like something is inside. Um, what I really like are these Christmas accessories like the reef is lovely and I really like the little hat and scarf. I imagine this will look really cute around Christmas time and I also really like the beds I must say. Yeah and obviously the Christmas tree. That's really nice. It's not Edwardian, but it will do for the mice. So yeah, Timu. Thank you for watching. I hope you don't blame me for 
environmental havoc. Um, I wanted to test this. And yeah, I won't do it again, but this is a nice haul. The thing is that some of these things I wouldn't get here um, for sure. They are different than from what I get here in Europe. And from that point of view, it's interesting. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with more dollhouse adventures. Bye!